everyone, I am back with this month's Walmart haul and sound like a broken record here, but every month they just are killing it. This month is a little different because I have found, in addition to my favorite casual go-to style, three pieces that are so beautiful, so lovely, you can wear them to a special event. I am planning on doing so later this month. You can wear them as a uh, to a wedding any kind of evening affair, I am so excited because Walmart is my go-to place for everyday casual, but I will admit it has not been somewhere I look for more upscale pieces with the exception of one or two items that I'm gonna just pop in here because they are outstanding and currently sitting in my closet waiting till next year to wear again because they're linen. But they've knocked it out of the park with their new fall collections. In case you are new here, hi, my name is Marnie. I'm known as Miss Gold Girl all over the internet and social media, and I love talking about everyday clothes that real women wear. So here we are with a video sponsored by Walmart, and I'm gonna walk you through some amazing picks. Let's start with the dresses first. Can you tell? I'm a little bit excited, I'm very excited. So the first dress I'm calling my chiffon layered midi dress. Now they say it's a midi dress. On me, it's a lot closer to a maxi dress. I am five foot three and three quarters inches for ease of measurement. Let's just say I'm five foot four. I'm presently 129 pounds. I dropped like seven pounds. I'm still getting over COVID from the last week in August. And that's one benefit. You gotta find the silver lining there. So yay for instant weight loss. Boo for feeling like crap for three weeks, but you know, you gotta take the good with the bad. So here we have this chiffon midi dress. It has these beautiful layers to it. What I love about it are like the little details that you'd normally find on something higher end. So in this case, the sleeves themselves are see-through, but the entire body of the dress is lined and that lining is sewn in. In a few lower price retailers, you'll often find that when something is lined, it's almost like a separate piece that never lines up quite right and you kind of have to contort yourself to get in it. Not so with this. So I love, love those kinds of details. It does come with its own self-tying belt. Most of the time, whether it's a high-end expensive item or more budget-friendly like this, I often take off the attached belt and cut those belt loops off. But in this case, I really like the effect. I feel like the self-tying belt, well, not self-tying, you have to tie it, but the included belt blends in with the tiers. It doesn't stick out. I'm good with it for now. I'm keeping it. I am wearing this dress in a size small. It does come in sizes extra small through 2XL, which is nice. And for the rest of my measurements, be sure to check the description box where I will have everything listed, linked, prices, all the things so that you can make the most informed decision on whether or not you wanna purchase something. This is a fun one and I will admit, I fell in love with it on the website and then when it showed up at my house, I was like, I don't know about this. And then I put it on and I love it. Now in this case, my plan is to take off the belt that came with it. I, I just don't think it works quite right. I'm thinking more of a stretchy, wider, elastic belt. In fact, let me show you. I picked up this one from Scoop, and it's a faux crocodile leather, and then it has the stretchy bit here, and then more faux crocodile leather here. Also comes in black in various sizes. I got mine in a small medium, which is perfect to go around my true waist, so I could see myself pairing that dress with the black version of this, which I just ordered, probably not the brown. So I love a V-neck. I think a V-neck is far more flattering on a lot of women because one, it draws the eye down, it kind of elongates you, but also if you have a larger chest like I do, it minimizes it. So it doesn't look like you're just one giant puffy torso. It gives some definition. It does come again in the same size range, extra small through double XL. There are four color options with this one and I should have highlighted, and you probably saw it already, that there are four prints in the last dress as well. I love that about Walmart. It's rare that it comes something comes in one color. One of the color options that I think is really pretty and a lot more classic is a solid black if the prints kind of throw you. And back to those little details that mean so much, even though it also has tears and you would think there's no way they'd put pockets on that, they put pockets in it. So thank you Walmart for those little details that really 
elevate the dress. One thing I should say about this dress, it feels like a cotton poplin material, which I think is, again, a really expensive feeling material, and it allows for the dress to kind of hold its shape a little bit better, and I love it. This last dress is probably my personal favorite and what I am planning on wearing to the opening day of the blogger conference that I have coming up later this month. You're gonna see it splashed all over Instagram. I'm just warning you now, LTK Con is what they're calling it, the LTK conference. And I will do a wrap up of all the outfits that I wore as well as some vlog footage because I'm gonna be seeing a lot of my friends and your friends here from YouTube and Instagram. It's, it's a fashion show. And so for the opening day, my plan is to wear this dress. I love it so much. So this one is the same material as the previous dress, sort of a cotton poplin. This dress is loaded with really, really nice details. So I'm wearing it in a size small. It's almost like a shirt dress. So it has a deeper V-neck with a higher collar. And here are those details I'm talking about. Little tiny pleats go all around the stand-up collar, which I love. It's open to about mid bodice. And then it does have some functional buttons comes with a belt that again, I think works really well with the dress. So I'm gonna leave it as is. And then you have your asymmetrical hem. Normally, I'm gonna admit, not a fan of asymmetrical anything. It works with this dress, absolutely works. This does come in several other patterns as well. This dress is incredibly versatile. On the website, they show it worn with knee-high boots, which are very, very in style for this season. I'm wearing it with just a basic pair of pumps. There's, you can wear it with the woven sandals that we're all wearing all from the summer. They're still being shown this fall. You're gonna see a couple pairs later in this video. So a really versatile piece and pockets, yay. Let's move on to some tops. The first top I feel, while it is casual, depending on what you pair it with, like a pencil skirt or a nicer pair of pants, you could absolutely wear this to a more conservative work environment. Uh, this would be a great teacher top, and it is this. They say it's a faux wrap top. It is completely real. It completely unbuttons. Now, I got a size small because I am consistently a size small on the Walmart website. In this case, I can't return this because I cut all the tags off, but I'm gonna, I ordered it again in one of the other colors that it comes in, the cream and white, in an extra small. So I would recommend on this particular piece to size down one, even with these there is plenty of room. But again, there's some really, really nice details. So I like the little split hem on the sides. It gives the peplum a little more movement. And then as far as the faux, well, it's not faux, the wrap part. So it does come with a snap at the top of the bodice where it crosses over. So you're not gonna have it gape open and show everybody your stuff. On the inside, there are actually two buttons. So you can decide how loose or tight you want it uh, buttoned on the inside, and then it has a nice tone-on-tone -tone button on the outside. So it's really well made. It just runs a little bit too big. I could possibly salvage the one I have if I knew how to sew. I'm, if I move the snap up a little bit so it closes a little bit higher, I think I may just do that. I may find a friend who can help me out on that piece. The sizing on this is a little different. It's extra small to triple XL, and it does come in several color options as well. Now we're moving on to what you would normally see me wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I do actually like to dress up, but my day-to-day -day life doesn't really lend itself to dressing up. I'm a t-shirt and jeans kind of girl when the weather is finally cool enough. And I should point out that the jeans I'm wearing for the next several outfits are an older pair from Walmart. They're one of my absolute favorite pairs of jeans. I'm hoping Scoop releases them again. They were from Scoop. They're cropped flare. I wear them in a size four. I'll list them below if I can find the link. You never know what pops up on the website, so it's there for you. But first, let's talk about this concert tee. I've mentioned before, all over social media, I'm not a fan of wearing concert tees unless you actually know the band and can name some songs. I love Def Leppard. I loved Pour Some Sugar On Me. I was I watched that video over and over and over on MTV's, um, what was it, TRL? Anyway, this is a great true concert tee, super, super soft. Like it feels like a vintage tee because it feels worn in and soft, has the concert dates on the back. If Def Leppard is not your thing, they also have the Beatles, Pink Floyd, and the Rolling Stones. Now I sized up big time in this. I went all the way up to a size large. I really wanted it oversized. I probably could have gotten a similar effect with a size medium 
This does go up, I believe, to a triple XL, so you have lots of wiggle room there. And if you want it more fitted, it goes all the way down to a small as well. This top is on clearance, but I, I was surfing the website and I saw it and I needed to snatch it up. I love Hachi material. It's like a, almost like a super, no, it, it's not almost. It is a super soft, almost like a brushed fleece, but it's really thin and lightweight. So if you're looking for something really, really soft, really, really cozy without the bulk and the weight, Hachi is the material for you. And Walmart tends to carry tons of options every season, especially in the fall and winter, of course. So when I saw this one in the camo print, I love camo. I'm a sucker for camo. I snatched it up. Now, I think there are eight patterns in total and some have a lot more sizing option left than others. The camo, I believe, is very limited in options, but it's six bucks. So if you can find it either in your store or linked down below, I would grab it. I paired it with something new, very much in stock. This is a longer length quilted puffer vest and I love wearing a puffer vest, but I never reach for the ones that I own because they feel like they're too short and they cut me off in a really weird place and they just make me look kind of chunky and short. I love this longer length. I think it'll be great also to be able to wear it over leggings for like an early morning or a later night walk when it's still cool outside. And even though it is really early in the season to be talking about puffer vests, I'm including it because the way things are going, they sell out so fast and I don't want you to miss out on it. This does come in eight colors, four beautiful bright jewel tones, and then four neutral. Great price point, 15 bucks. I have two more outfits to share with you, one I really love, and one is a fail. I feel like I need to share the good and the not so great. So the last of the good ones is what I'm wearing right now. You can't go wrong with basics, and I found that I just don't have enough of them. And so one of the lines that I recommend to look for basics is time and true, and this Henley is one of them. I grabbed it in a size small. It comes in a ton of colors. The buttons are actually functional. These actually button as well. I don't know if you can see, but there's tiny little elastic loops here. So I could button this all the way up if I wanted to, but I like it like this. It's just one of those things, it's great to wear on its own, lots of color options, but great for layering as we move into cooler weather under a cardigan or a jacket or a blazer, whatever. It's good to have we need to talk about these joggers. So this is more of a scuba material jogger. I'm really mad at myself because I saw this come out and I sat on it and I waited too long because there are the jogger pants that I'm wearing now that come in three colors, an ivory, a beautiful rust brown, and this gorgeous red. And then there's also like a wide leg cropped pant version of the same material. And then there's a matching long sleeve sort of collared scuba material top. And I waited too long and everything is sold out in my size. So I missed the matching top in my size. So I grabbed this so that I could pair it with my red scuba joggers. If you know me by now, you know I love a pair of joggers and I love a matching set. So normally scoop is carried in very limited quantities in the store, which is why I talk about them here and link them so you can order from them from the website. But I am seeing more and more scoop stuff show up, sometimes a little bit after it's launched on the website. So I'm including all this stuff here in case you happen to find it in your local Walmart, by all means go check it out. I'm also gonna list the links down in this description box to the matching top and the wide leg version of these pants because you never know what pops up on the website. All right, let's talk about the fails. Uh, it is rare that I return anything to Walmart, although I will say the return policy is really, really easy, especially if you order it online because you can just do everything on the app, walk into the store to customer service, they just scan the barcode and I usually just get store credit and go right back and buy something else. But in any event, let's talk about these two pieces. So first, let's talk about the crinkle tee. I ordered this thinking it was the same red as these jogger pants so that I could wear them together. They are not. The top is more of an orange red. The bottoms are tomato red. That's really not the fail. The fail is, I don't know if it said it in the description and I missed it, but this thing has shoulder pads in it. I'm not talking subtle shoulder pads. I'm talking 80s dynasty shoulder pads. I don't care if that's a trend. I'm no, no, uh-uh, not wearing it. If you missed me talking about my take on the current fall trends, I had a lot of fun with that one. I'll link it down below as well. I'm having a flashback. Like I know I own this top in the 80s, like in junior high or early high school. 
And so we're not, no. I. But what doesn't work for me may work for one of you. So I'm going to list it but or link it, but it's a pass for me. As well as these pants, which looked so cute on the website. It shows up. This fabric is made out of like the heaviest twill. It's so stiff. I feel like that kid from the Christmas story when they stuff him into the snowsuit and he can't like bend his arms and legs. I could barely walk into the family, into the living room to film that, that try on because it's so stiff. It runs really, really small and it's a super high waist. I mean, it came up to like the bottom of my rib cage. And so it does nothing to hide my mom pooch. It's just all around terrible. And that green, that is really green. Like, and I have that green in some of the tops, but in a pant, it's just not working for me. And it only comes in that color, which is very weird for Walmart. So it's a pass for me, but some of you, especially if you're long-waisted and you live somewhere where you want heavy pants, you might love it. But I don't like to end on a negative. So let's wrap this up with a quick look at some shoes that I grabbed. This one I actually purchased for last month's haul, but it came late. And I wanted you guys to see another look at it. These are faux suede, faux shirling, kind of little lug sole there, knee-high boots. They are so cute. They are super warm. Check it out. That faux lining goes all the way down the shaft to like the shoe part. So really nice. The buckle here is actually functional and it has a little bit of like a half zip on the inside. Obviously something you're gonna purchase ahead of the season because we're not quite ready for those just yet. What we could wear right now are these. I talked about these in last month's Walmart haul. I actually finally got them and it's a real wood sole, which I really appreciate that detail. And again, not a huge fan of the big oversized lug soles, but I feel like it works. It's a little more subtle. It blends in with the wood and I feel like I won't slip in these. And then even the little details of the studs along the edge, it's, it's nice. Another thing I want to point out is this is more of an almond toe shape, a little bit squared off, but definitely not rounded. So it's a more, it's, it doesn't run narrow, but it makes the foot look slimmer and the leg longer. So I love that. And then lastly, I do get a lot of requests for shoes and boots that don't have a heel. I prefer a heel, but I get it. So when I saw these, this is basically the boot that I live in, summer, fall, and winter, and year round, with a very tiny, very, very tiny heel. I will say that weirdly, these run a little bit big. So I bought them in my true size seven. There's definitely wiggle room. I would recommend sizing a half size down. These do come in half sizes as well, which is really nice. And just like all the other Time and True shoes, it does have memory foam. And I like that it has the zip on the side so it's easy to get in and out. So that is it for my September Walmart haul. Let me know what pieces stood out to you. Remember, everything is linked in the description box. Majority of these pieces are not available in the stores, which is why I've got links for you so you can go order them online. But if you do find any of these pieces in your store, please let me know. I'd love to hear from it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.